This is part 5 of Bootstrap Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the concept of offsetting the grid columns. We'll also discuss some of the Bootstrap classes that are available to style an image element. When creating website layouts using the grid system, you may want to move grid columns to the right for alignment purpose. Let's understand this with an example. Let's say we want to create a layout that looks like this. In the first row, we want two equal columns. And in the second row, we want four equal columns. We can very easily achieve this using this HTML. Notice within the container, we've got two rows. That's our first row, and this is our second row. Within the first row, we've got two columns, each column spanning three columns within the 12-column bootstrap grid system. And within our second row, we've got four columns. Again, each column spanning three columns within the 12-column bootstrap grid system. I have this exact same HTML already typed within Visual Studio. So when we view this in the browser, this is how it looks like. Now what we want to do is center the two columns in the first row like this. To achieve this, we will have to push the first column in the first row to the right by three columns. And this is exactly the purpose of offset classes in Bootstrap. Just like how we have different grid classes for different screen sizes, we have the corresponding offset classes as well. So to offset a column on an extra small device, we use call-xs-offset class. To offset a column on a smaller device, we use call-sm-offset class, so on and so forth. Now, we want to push this column, the first column, in the first row to the right by three columns. So I am going to use call md-offset-3 on the first column on, in the first row. So this is going to push this column to the right by three columns, which is going to push the second column as well to the right you know, by three columns. So we get these two columns centered. Let's look at this in action. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So this is our first column in the first row. So in addition to call-md-3, I'm going to use call-md-offset 3. So this is going to push this first column to the right by three columns. So let's save our changes. And when we refresh this page, look at that. The two columns are nicely centered as expected. Now let's say we want to create you know, six columns gap between the first and second columns in the first row like this. To achieve this, we will have to push the second column to the right by six columns. The first column will stay where it is. Okay, so we only want to push the second column to the right by six columns. So we can very easily achieve this by using call md offset six on the second column like this. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So I'm going to remove the column md offset three from our first column and apply this on our second column in the first row. And since we want to push it to the right by six columns, I'm going to use MD offset 6. So let's save the changes. And when we reload this page, look at that. We get six columns gap between the first column and second column. Now let's look at a simple example of where this offset feature could be useful. Let's say we want to create a layout that looks like this. Within our second row, we want three equal columns. And within our first row, we want just one image. And that image should be centered. Now this can be very easily achieved. So within our second row, notice we want three columns. So each column here is spanning four columns in the 12 column bootstrap grid system. That's our second row. In the first row, we have an image element. We have set the source of the image and we have the class attribute here. We want the image also to span four columns within the 12 column bootstrap grid system. So we are using call MD4. And in addition to that, since we want to push the image to the right by four columns, we're using call MD offset four. I have this exact same HTML already typed within our notepad. So I'm going to copy that and paste it within our index.html. So let's delete this and paste it. OK. Now we need this image. So these images are present 
at this path so I'm I'm on Windows 7 operating system so the path on my machine is C users public pictures sample pictures so we want this tulips image so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to add a new folder to a project and I'm going to name it images let's paste the image into this folder okay so we have our image there so let's save our changes and look at this when we reload the page we get three columns here and in the first row we have the image nicely centered but now there's a problem here look at this the image width is not the same as the width of this column that's because we are applying a margin of three pixels on all the four sides instead let's include a margin only on the bottom so I'm going to change this margin dash bottom let's save the changes and when I reload this page notice the width of the image is the same as the width of the column there is another problem as well look at what's going to happen when I resize the browser window notice on a smaller device we are getting a horizontal scroll bar the image is not responsive to see the full image we will have to scroll left and right Now let's see how to make this image responsive to make images responsive all you need to do is apply a different class and that is image responsive so in addition to these two classes on that image element I am going to include image responsive let's save our changes and look at this when we reload the page and when we resize it look at that the image is also now responsive it scales you know according to the browser screen size we don't get that horizontal scroll bar anymore let's look at a few other classes that we can use along with images to style them let's say for example we want to style this image like a circle to do that we use a different class and that is image dash circle let's save the changes and reload this page notice the image is styled as a circle let's say we want to style it as a thumbnail to do that we use a different class and that is image thumbnail so now the image is displayed as a thumbnail we have another class as well and that is image rounded which is going to give us rounded corners for some reason this image rounded class is not working when I use it with either grid classes or offset classes when I remove these two classes that's when the image rounded class works as expected look at that I removed those two classes let's save the changes and when I reload this page notice we get rounded corners as expected but the moment I put those classes back in place and when we reload this page we don't get that rounded corners if you know a fix for this issue please leave it as a comment so it could help us so to make images responsive we use image responsive class on the image element we also have few other bootstrap classes that we can use to style an image element we have seen image circle image thumbnail and image rounded thank you for listening and have a great day